Welcome to the Heroes Con edition of the Comic Boss. The Boss, Obese Ninja, John Rambo. Uh, it's been an awesome weekend down here. This is Saturday night. We got one more day to go, which we probably won't be there very long tomorrow. Not at all. Um, but so far, it's just been righteous, utterly righteous. We're gonna. This is gonna be. We're going to show you off all the stuff we got and you didn't get because you weren't here. We got you, friend. Uh, John Rambo, you're closest, so you go first. I'm going to start with my baby. Bowen Moon Knight statue. Look at that. I'm not going to open it up because y'all don't deserve it. Wow. You got him, friend. I, I did got get him. I did get him. Y'all can enjoy it from the box. It's, it's, we've seen it outside the box. It looks better. It's pretty, it's pretty it's, awesome. It's pretty it's sweet. It's pretty sweet. And what then, else you got? And then I will go to some of my favorite prints. This by one great creator, Mr. Rob Liefeld. It's a, I also have that print. It's a cable Deadpool. And it's amazing. It's amazing. And he signed it. He signed it. Right at the top. I know y'all wish y'all had it. Yeah, you do wish you had it. Because it's... It's pretty beastly. Yeah. I think Mike Capriotti uh, painted over it. So, does it say Capriotti on yes, the bottom? Yes, it did. Mike Capriotti painted over it. Uh, no amount of us showing you this on this webcam will do that print justice. It. Okay. It might be, I would dare to say it's the best print at Heroes. It was, it was pretty easily. And two great characters. Yeah. Cable, and then the badass Merc with the mouth. And it cost that much. You no, know. 20, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And 20 bucks. It, that's a big print, high gloss paper, very nice. Very nice. And then another one of my favorites, by Mr. Mike, Mike Lilly. Lilly. It's a sketch, or a print of the Batman, Catwoman, and Nightwing. And then plus, down at the bottom, the Dark Knight himself, Batman, along with his signature, 20 bucks. And then some of my other favorites were some pretty cool variant covers. Blackest Knight number two, Deadpool team up. Cable number one by Mr. Lo Rob Liefeld. Vengeance of Moon Knight number one. Punisher 75. Deadpool Cable 25 variant by Rob Liefeld. And Ultimate Avengers 2 issue 1 variant. And that's just some of my cool stuff that I picked up this weekend. Indeed, cool. Now, who are we going to next? I think we should go to the Obese Ninja because I still got to pull out some stuff. Go ahead. Right. Well, you got to be my assistant because I'm fat and lazy. Okay. I'll be your Vanna White. First off, when you uh, pre order your tickets and like these two morons, you get a free print. Hey. And I've got. They were free. free, so I paid 36 bucks. Not a lot. Not a bad deal. But you get a free thing, and I've gotten everybody to sign it. You can show, you can show it to a close. Here we go. We got Mr. Basically, everybody he visited this weekend has signed it. It's a Mike, 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 Mike Mignola print. Already pre-signed by Mike Mignola. And we've got, let's see, who, who's Dexter's on there. Show. Um, the guys from Atomic Robo mm -hmm. signed it. Ethan Van Skyver, Rob Liefeld. Tuchia, whatever his name is. John Hex guy. Yeah, he was pretty cool. He was a really nice he guy. He was awesome. Yeah. He, he, showed, he showed us a lot. His stuff. sketchbook, which was really cool. I also got a print by him. And then Dustin Gwynn. Basically, everybody's booth that we stopped at, we got, Ben got to sign this print. And he will probably get more people to sign it tomorrow. Yeah, I gotta head back up there tomorrow and get some more. And um, also, I got Atomic Robo. They signed everything. I'm not gonna pull them up, but they signed all my stuff. They really like. They're really cool guys. Buy their comic. It's reasonably priced. Really great, great guys. guys. The comic's great. It's hilarious. Everyone I've given it to loves it. 
and then I got them to do a print and a sketch. To show you the sketch. Here you go. It was it was a really cheap sketch. Twenty too. bucks sketch. Twenty bucks. Full body. It's really great. It's really it's really awesome. The comic's great. Guys are great. I recommend everybody go buy it. It's great. It's really easy. It's easy to find. Now, the first volume may be kind of a pain, but they're starting to do more prints of it now. They're starting to pick up. But next year, if you come to Heroes Con, 50% off bin of trades. You could have found it. Yeah, there's the print they had. It is five bucks. Five dollar print. Can't go wrong. Both guys were there. And then the second one was um, Texter. He didn't mind. He, did he was that. a really cool guy. He was cool. The one with him was just, just kind of. She was a little pushy, a little pushy. But, like, they just wanted. She wanted the money. He was real cool though. He sat there. He talked to me and, and me and John Rambo. Told us how about everything he did. No sign. Best way to do yeah, it. Yeah, I got I got a bullseye puncher uh, print by him, and he put some little sketches. Ghost Rider for Obese Ninja right here. I got a bullseye little head sketch by him. But really great guy. Set, uh, was there, talked to us, told us about how he referenced Ghost Rider. He had a skull that he looked at. But really, he was a really cool guy. Me and Ben really enjoy talk to, talking to him. I think that's about this. There was a bunch of other people there. Chris Robinson, iZombie. I don't have it on me right now. I know Boss has talked about it before a little bit. Great comics, a dollar. Go buy it, it's great. And then I met the guy who created Ghost Rider and bought a print from him and he signed it. His sign, if he wanted to sign stuff, it was two bucks unless you buy print. So he's just, he's just trying to make money, basically. But, just, but the prints he has had were pretty cool. Yeah, he had a Textera print up there. If I didn't buy this one, I would have bought that one from him, probably. But a lot of good stuff up there. Really great. Yeah. I enjoyed it. First one for me, so it was just, it was a, it was a, it was lot a learning of experience. It was a learning experience. Bought a bunch of trades. I don't know if you can see the stack right here, but. I bought all these about five dollars a piece. When you go over there, they have great deals. A lot of great deals. And uh, take it, boss. All right. Last and best is the boss. Now, my main goal this weekend was to get my life held stuff signed, and as these two will attest, it was a task indeed. It, but it was a pretty worth worthy task. It was worthy and worthwhile. And I'll show you my absolute favorite thing. As everybody on the Rob Liefeld boards will know, a couple years ago, Rob came out with this Young Blood hardcover, recolored by Matt Yackey, rescripted by Joe Casey. Now, I got this signed, but as you can see, it's not signed on the cover. Oh, but where oh. is it signed? It is indeed signed on the inside with a bad rock head sketch. Not only did he sign it, but he did the Liefeld and signed the signature. Uh, didn't ask him to do that for me. He just he, did He's it. a great guy. I mean, he is an amazing guy. I mean, yeah, we waited in line. We for waited it. in line for a long time. Yeah, it was and he, worth it. And he made it up. He was polite, courteous, I mean, I mean, I couldn't ask for more. He created one of my favorite characters, Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have a huge man crust on Deadpool. You can ask. We know these two guys right here, but he he was a really great guy. He was really he's he sat there talked to us. And he stuff made like the that. con for me. Yes. He definitely made the con for me. Next up is my CG Seed X Force, which he signed. It's a nine point eight. Of the mini X Force number one, amazing. Uh, Wizard number ten, of which there is a shaft and cable on. He signed that one for me. Awesome. Switching gears a little bit. Dustin Gwynn signed my absolute favorite cover that he's ever done. Batman Streets of Gotham, 11. Another great guy right there. Yeah, he awesome guy. Him. Incredible guy. I mean, I might go pick up that the talent that was going on here, they yes. were just like, we might have met some of the greatest talent of our generation.